What's up guys, it's time for some exciting news for all the music producers out there. Spectasonics had just launched Omnisphere 3. This is a massive update. Omnisphere is an already amazing synthesizer and I know many of you are eager to get your hands on it. As you all know, Omnisphere is the flagship synthesizer of Spectasonics, an instrument of extraordinary power and versatility. This plugin brings many different types of synthesis together into one incredible sounding instrument that will inspire a lifetime of exploration. So, in this tutorial, I'm about to walk you through a step-by-step -step process of how to install Omnisphere 3 in Affel Studio. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do, of course, is download the Omnisphere 3 installation files from the Spectasonics website. Once you have downloaded all the necessary parts, you will likely have few GIF files or RAR files. You will need to extract them first. I also recommend creating a dedicated folder for your Spectasonics instruments to keep everything organized and easy to find. Inside the extracted folder, you'll find the main Omnisphere installer. Double click on it to begin the installation process. Or you can also right click and run as administrator. The installer will guide you through the setup wizard. Make sure you read the license agreement and accept it to proceed to the next step. C drive program files, VST plugins. The installer will ask where you want to install the VST plugin files themselves. For FL Studio, you'll want to point this to one of your VST plugin folders that FL Studio already scans. If you are unsure where your FL Studio VST parts are, you can often use a common default locations like C drive, program files, Steinberg, VST plugins. Once you have set both your library and VST plugin paths, click install and let the installer do its work. Alright, once the installation is complete, you might be prompt to restart your computer. It's usually a good idea to do so as it ensures all new files and settings are properly registered with your operating system. Now that Omnisphere is installed, let's open FL Studio and get it recognized. Go to your options menu and then select Manage Plugins. In the Plugin Manager window, you'll want to initiate a fast scan or a full scan. This tells FL Studio to look for any newly installed plugins. After the scan is completed, you should be able to see Omnisphere appear in your list of new or recently scanned plugins. From here, you can add it to your favorites for quick access or simply drag and drop it into a channel rack slot to load it. For the main Omnisphere library, it's generally best to install it on a fast drive like an SSD if you have one available. And there you have it, Omnisphere, fully installed and ready to run in FL Studio. The core plugin files are relatively small, but the sound libraries are truly massive and will benefit greatly from a fast drive. Now let's start exploring all the incredible sounds and features this powerhouse synthesizer has to offer.
I hope this tutorial was helpful in installing Omnisphere 3 and running for you. If you have any questions or ran into any issues during the installation, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to assist you. Subscribe to the channel for more music production content so you don't miss out on future tutorials.